So as you can see, when you first get your website set up, here we have uh, put our title here and some of the links are already put together from this template. You're going to notice that uh, it's going to give you an actual domain name to view your website. So we'll come here to the left. So let's go back a little bit. Let's say we're at home, right? You go down to pages and you can see all the different pages, right? And that shows the linkage between all the parts of your website. But if we come back here and go to settings, you can actually come down to where it says website and domains, okay? So in domains, once you click that, you can see the built-in domain that Squarespace gave you. And that here is Brittany Flowers, and then there's some other nonsense here, dot squarespace.com. So you can actually click on this and change it. So you can make it, let's say, Brittany, uh, Brittany Bags Paris, because that's the name of your website, right? So rename it, confirm, and give it one minute to process. And now you'll see it has changed. See at the top it says BrittanyBagsParis.Squarespace.com. This is the domain provided by Squarespace. So let's go back to settings. Let's go back to domains. And now you can see it has changed. BrittanyBagsParis.Squarespace.com. But you want BrittanyBagsParis.com, right? Or whatever the domain is that you've purchased. So if you haven't already purchased it through G Suite or one of the other options, um, you can actually go ahead and get your domain here. And, you know, that's one option. Or you can use a domain that you already own. And what you'll need to do is after you use the domain that you already own, then it's going to show it here under, under domains, and you'll be able to actually make it your primary. See how this says primary? So you could click use a domain I own, and then you type in Brittany Bags Paris. Dot com and continue and then it'll say connect from provider and then you select your provider let's say you got it at GoDaddy for example and this can actually you know give you an idea of all the places you could get it see there's Bluehost there's GoDaddy and gives you kind of an idea there so say GoDaddy and then say connect domain and what it'll actually do is it'll bring up your GoDaddy account, for example, you sign in and it's going to connect it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Oops, failed to link, of course, because I'm not actually linking it. And um, that's how that can be connected. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually, if you have your domain at GoDaddy or another um, registrar, you can actually bring it over and transfer it over to Squarespace itself. Okay, so let me show you how to do that. So you go over, go over here, and back to the the home page uh, by just going to your account and go to domains, and then you can actually click here. already have a domain transfer your domain and then you see you can actually transfer it over and um, the only the only you know trick here is that you have to make sure that um, it hasn't been purchased in the last 60 days if it has you're gonna have to wait until you do it so you you type in your domain blah 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 and then continue and you transfer it over and the benefit to transferring it over to Squarespace um, is that you would be able to actually, uh, you know, have it in one place. It's a little bit easier to connect. The negative to it is then it might cost you a little bit more to renew it every year. And that's one of the benefits to keeping it at a place such as, um, such as GoDaddy. But that gives you an idea. Let's go back to uh, my account. So what happens is once you've actually... Um, connected that domain, let's say you didn't transfer it over actually, but it's still with GoDaddy or Bluehost or somewhere else, and you've connected it here, what it's going to do is it's going to 
actually allow you to make it your primary. And then by making it your primary, it will fix this issue so you won't have the dot squarespace.com.